but I want to talk about the bones that are involved in olfaction. So, so first be aware, this thing I'm holding in my hand is a skull. Skulls have two types of bones, cranial bones that touch your brain and facial bones that make up your face. So for olfaction, we've got one cranial bone that's involved called the ethmoid bone, and then we've got two facial bones that are involved, the vomer and the inferior nasal concha. So the back four tables have this mid-sagittal section that shows these folds right here. One, two, three, A, B, C. That's the superior, middle, and inferior nasal concha. These front two tables have skulls, and I'm holding a skull. And what you can see when you look in the nasal cavity is there's this, right in the middle, there's what's called your nasal septum. And it's kind of like this bony straight line in between the two sides of your nose. That lower part is made of this bone called your vomer right here. And then if you, and, and the kind of the superior part of that is part of your ethmoid bone, the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. So the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bones hangs down in the superior aspect of your nasal cavity there and meets up with the vomer to form your nasal septum. So that's a question you'll see in your skeletal lab. It'll ask you what two bones make up the nasal septum. And the answer is the ethmoid bone, which is cranial, and the vomer, which is facial. If you look in that skull, to the, um, to the lateral of that then, you can see these nasal concha. You can see the inferior nasal concha is the lowest one right here. We see that down there. So that's not involved in olfaction per se. What happens on these nasal concha when you breathe in is it creates turbulence and it whacks the air that you're breathing in into your nasal cavity and traps stuff in mucus. That's gonna do a couple things. If there's any debris in there, it'll get it trapped in the mucus and then you can swallow it and digest it in your gut. The other thing that it's gonna do is if there are any odorants, it's gonna trap those odorants in, muc in the mucus in your nose. And then, I don't know if you've ever noticed, when you're trying to smell something, we sniff it up. You're sniffing it up to your superior nasal concha, which is where, where our olfactory epithelium is hanging down. That's why we're talking about these bones today in this part today, because we're talking about olfaction. And in the ethnoid bone, this cranial bone, it's this bone that touches your brain. So it's gotta be a cranial bone. So, oh, uh, so if we look in here, the ethnoid bone is a weird bone and it's poking up into the skull. And so there's like a point that kind of feels sharp right here. That's the Christigali or the coxcomb of the ethmoid bone. And then on real bones, it's easier to see. It's not easy to see on the models. To the sides of that are these little holes in that bone called the cribiform plate. Moth eaten, it means. And there are holes in that. So how it all fits together with olfaction is that when you're sniffing up to bring an odorant up, it gets trapped in the mucus. Your olfactory epithelium is right there. And so we've got these little, little bipolar neurons that stick up through that cribiform plate and, and then are going to synapse in your olfactory bulbs. And so that's why I wanted to talk about it today as our bones, because it's going to be involved in olfaction. So any questions on that? All right. So. Muscles of the day. Darn it, I didn't bring models up. That's okay, they're in our bodies. So we talked about all of the things yesterday that are synergists with biceps brachii. So brachialis is just deep to biceps brachii. And brachioradialis is one that is going to run from your brachial region and down into your radius. So well, I'll show you a picture of it. So if we look here, biceps brachii is superficial. And then deep to that, we have brachialis, you can see here. And then brachioradialis is running um, kind of from this distal part of your arm down into your forearm. So when you're looking at the muscle models, there are other muscles that are superficial to brachioradialis. So you can really only see where it's coming out, like a little part of it right here. But how you can tell it's brachioradialis is because it's moving with the thumb. 
So these things together, we would call brachialis is the best synergist with biceps brachii, but brachioradialis is as well, and brachioradialis helps with supination. So when a muscle helps the prime mover, so biceps brachii is the prime mover of arm flexion, forearm flexion, <laughs> Uh, brachialis and brachioradialis are synergists. They help. So as far as what you need to know, brachialis flexes the forearm, brachioradialis flexes the forearm, and supinates the forearm at the hand, just like brachi uh, biceps brachii did. And then, for all of the rest of the muscles in your forearm, we just call them grouped flexors. You don't have to know each of the individual flexors. So what that should show you is that now we've met everything we need to know that has anything to do with flexing any part of our upper limb. Group flex flexors are going to flex your hand. Brachioradialis, brachialis, and um, biceps brachii are going to flex your forearm. I guess we ne haven't necessarily met everything. Deltoid is going to flex your arm. Okay, so do you see how all of my flexors are in the anterior compartment of my arm? Just something to be aware of. That's going to be opposite in the leg. So we'll talk about that later. So those are our muscles of the day. Since they all do the same thing, we'll go ahead and just go through their names. Go ahead and we'll do our muscle meditation. Close your eyes. And breathe in, brachialis. And breathe out, flexes forearm. And breathe in, brachioradialis. And breathe out, flexes forearm, supinates forearm and hand. Breathe in, grouped flexors, flex wrist and fingers. Breathe. Breathe in, brachialis. Breathe out, flexes forearm. Breathe in, brachioradialis. Breathe out, flexes forearm, supinates forearm and hand. Breathe in, grouped flexors. Breathe out, flex wrist and fingers. Breathe in, brachialis. Breathe out, flexes forearm. Breathe in, brachioradialis. Breathe out, flexes forearm, supinates forearm and hand. Breathe in, root flexors. Breathe out, flex wrist and fingers. Breathe in, breathe out, and come back in. 